I wish I liked Man Up more than I did. It's a good film. I enjoyed it. But it had the potential to be brilliant, mainly because Simon Pegg is brilliant. And, yep, I absolutely love him in this as Jack. He is brilliant. We have a great supporting cast. Cast includes Lake Bell, Rory Kinnear, Ken Stott, Olivia Will Williams, Sharon Horgan, Stephen Campbell Moore. Really great cast. And the narrative sounded like it could be pretty great. So, according to IMDb, this says, A single woman takes the place of a stranger's blind date, which leads to her finding the perfect boyfriend. That sounds very rom, not so much com. But it is a comedy drama, and I did actually find it quite funny. Not as funny as pretty much anything else that Simon Pegg has done, because he is brilliant, and I realise that the bar for that is quite high. He's set the bar very high for himself. And this just doesn't live up to it in terms of feeling like a film where he is the protagonist. That being said, it's still entertaining. The idea of fate and chance comes into this a lot if you're interested in that kind of thing and if you are a strong believer in fate then I think you'll probably get quite a lot out of it. Nancy as a character, Nancy played by Lake Bell of course, is quite likeable. She's not your stereotypical love interest rom-com female lead. She's got a bit more bite to her. She's a little bit more interesting and quite frankly a little bit more well developed and a little bit more imperfect. She feels a lot more realistic as a character and as a being and the same goes for Jack. Uh, he is uh, 40 years old, he is divorced, he obviously has a lot of baggage with him and it's really interesting to see what his relationship is like with Nancy as it develops and kind of the things they get up to because we don't know if they're ever if they're actually going to work because obviously it's a blind date nobody had set her up with him because she took somebody else's place they couldn't they could have been a, ma a match made in heaven will he find out she wasn't meant to be the one he was meeting Will he meet the person that he was meant to be meeting? There are a lot of um, questions. And I will say I think it did answer pretty much every question that I would have thought of when watching it. But I wasn't, I wasn't that emotionally invested in it. I, you know, I did think, well, I want the best for these characters. I hope it works out for them. They are genuinely likeable characters. But at the same time, I also thought, well, you know, if the worst happens, I really care that much and it's not the end of the world so it's not the most gripping film it's not the most intense it is a comedy drama so there are moments where it's more heartfelt and a bit more realistic and a bit more serious certainly in terms of the character developments and the way to re the way in which they react to situations or finding out certain information but at the same time I just felt like the comedy was mediocre and I'm trying to think of all of the Simon Pegg films that I've seen. I've not seen his entire back catalogue, but out of the ones that I've seen, I'd say this is the least funny. Nothing wrong with his performance, nothing wrong with anybody's performance. I just feel like the script could have had a little bit more juice to it, but it wasn't that funny. But it is heartwarming, it is heartfelt. It's a nice film, an easy film to watch, but at times it will make you think, make you question how you would behave in these situations. And ultimately, it's a nice journey towards the film's final destination. 